What's up, you guys? My name is Mary. I'm with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome, welcome, my subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. My hair is a my hair is a crazy mess, but we just have to deal with it, okay? Um, <laughs> don't forget the don't forget the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, it apply. Everyone has free will. Only take the messages that resonate with us. Free general type of reading. Love you guys so much. Appreciate all the love and support to the channel. Thanks for all the shares of my content um on social media and word of mouth because it's really helping get my channel around i'm noticing it in the view counts and i'm noticing it with subscriber increase so thanks so much for all the love and support i appreciate it you guys you guys are the best okay so i received a channeling it's a good one just saying just saying um <laughs> just saying so i hope everybody's doing well i need to offload the ones i got coming down here those are not good but i'll have to make a separate video for those just saying just saying Okay, so the channel message I received was someone has a crush on you. I heard a position of authority. I heard a very light side position of authority. They have a serious crush on, crush on you. Um, I heard it's someone you would have never expected. For one, it's someone you you have met. For one, it's someone you have never met. So you plug in how it resonates, whoever you are. I feel you can be any sign. I didn't hear a sign on you. I didn't hear a sign on them. But whoever you are, it's. Some, for one of you guys, it's someone you have met before, position of authority. You would have never expected the person to have a crush on you. For one of you guys, it's someone you would have never, um, you've never met. And they're a position of authority, they have a crush on you. I feel in both these situations, it's probably someone you would, I mean, for number two, you never met them. So maybe you expect it, maybe you don't. I mean, you never met them. I'm just saying. So, ooh la la. Spirit messages you have with collective. November, so we're in November now. They love your smile. They love, they think you have beautiful eyes. And they think you look very young for your age. Okay, they love your smile. They uh, think you look young for your age. And they uh, think you have beautiful eyes. So whoever you are, I feel you can be masculine or feminine. Your femme energy. Your, okay, whoa, your femme. You're femme. Okay, so you're femme. You're femme energy. Uh, it's a masculine position of authority in both situations. Okay, so heterosexual type energy, not homosexual. I have nothing against homosexual. I just want to disclaim for that. But this is heterosexual here. You are femme energy, and it's a masculine energy. Whether you've met them before or you haven't. I mean, whether you haven't or you have. Position of authority. Um, they think you have a beautiful smile. They think your eyes are beautiful. And um, they think you look young for your age. How that resonates in the class. I think it's happening now because we have the November card uh, for a lot of you guys. Um, I feel it's current energetic space. Most definitely current energetic space. That's confirmation. Holy shit. Most definitely current energetic space. I heard try again. I got three. Temporary situation, shrewdness, um, and resourcefulness, especially in business, short journey. I heard try again. Okay, so um, current energetic space is confirmation. So November of 2022, they're crushing on you hard there, ma'am. Just saying, just saying. Oh, ah. Hey, y'all, hold on one second. Somebody just came up to my front door. Hold on one second.
Okay, so sorry. I am so sick of this shit. I just want to let y'all know. I'm so sick of this shit. Okay, so this is what they put in my front door. There's an election on Tuesday. Anybody in Alabama knows that shit. At least if you don't live on a rock, you know. This is what the dude put on my front door. Then today, I got a phone call from the Democrat representative. And then this is the Republican representative. Hashtag live free if anybody needs to hear that. Okay, so we're back. They're crushing on you. Think you have beautiful eyes. Think you look young for your age. And um, what was the other one? Uh, beautiful smile. You have a beautiful smile. Much better than this bullshit. If you want to vote for somebody, vote, vote for somebody. I mean... This is like a damn salesman thing. Like the car salespeople. Pressure. You ain't pressuring me. I'll vote for who I want to vote for. Spirit messages you have for like this. But if anybody lives in Alabama and you don't know, there's a big election on Tuesday. I don't know if you're getting the harassing flyers and phone calls, too. Actually, I will say I kind of appreciate the phone call, to be honest. I kind of appreciate the phone call from the Democratic representatives, um, campaign people, because they were very informative. They told basically what the Democratic representative, she's a female, wanted to do. She was, they were very informative on the phone. So I actually appreciated that phone call. It was a voicemail. Um, so, I guess it can't be too hard on them, but damn. I actually met her, just to let y'all know. I met the Democratic representative. She actually was in my neighborhood about a month ago, and she did her own walk, door-to-door -door walk, uh, walk twos. And I, she was in my driveway, and we, we met each other. And that's the truth. I actually kind of like her. Vote, money, or property through an inheritance, winning, or windfall. And what she wants to do is very good, too. Just kind of side noting. But what she wants to do, if she does it, if she does it, because, you know, politicians promise shit all day long, but it's getting in there and actually using your team and your resources and doing it. And that's just the damn truth. So hopefully, whoever hell gets put in there, they actually do what they say they're going to do. Not like majority of politicians. Spirit message that you have reflected. I didn't mean to get off on politics, but that's just the truth. Goldfish increase in... Oh, my God. I heard stop. Heard stop. Okay. All right. So, we have November. Vote. Money or property through an inheritance, winning or windfall. Goldfish increase in material or spiritual growth. November. Big happenings are about to happen for you, feminine energy, and this masculine energy. Very light side energy. In November of 2022. It's about to benefit you and him in a huge way. He might tell you how he feels. When things really start picking up for him and you. Might. You are single. Fem energy. Okay, whoa, damn. Okay, so you're single feminine energy. You were single. Single's a Pringle, like me. You're single a Pringle, like me. Just saying, just saying, feminine energy, if this resonates for you. I didn't hear if he was single or married or what have you, what have you. I didn't hear what his marital status or lack of marital status is, but you were single. You're hashtag single Pringle, ma'am. He's crushing on you big time. But something, okay, so we're November 5th of 2022. Something Big, huge is about to happen positive for you and him. I heard both in the month of November of 2022. So it hasn't happened yet. So we're beginning of November now, November 5th of 2022. So hold on a second. So I'm presuming from November 6th of 2022 to November 30th of 2022, some big events, positive big events are about to happen for you, singles, Pringle Femme Energy. And for the light, heard he's very light side, positive, masculine energy, position of authority, whether you've met him before or you haven't met him before, marital status unknown over here for him. 
already might tell you how he feels once things really start picking up in a positive way for him and for you. He might. So, just saying, just saying. For some, he may. For some, he may not. I heard might. So, not saying he will. But this month, this month, current energetic space, November 2022. Wow. For some, for some, I feel it has to do with will, money, property, inheritance, property law, or something of that nature. I'm just saying. Um, because we have that card. And we have the increase in material wealth or spiritual growth. So increase in money. Or maybe he finds out he gets an inheritance. Or you find out you get an inheritance. Or you get money, property, or assets. Something to do with an inheritance. A winning or a windfall. Inheritance, winning, or windfall. Something to do with money, basically. Something to do with money. Increase in money. For you and him or both. Or for both. For both. For both of you. This month in November 2022, whether it's inheritance, winning, or windfall, money. So he's light side, ma'am. He's light side. So he treats people honestly, trust, respect, morals, ethics, integrity, and values, whether you've met him before or you haven't, okay? I don't think he's looking to screw you. I mean, like, like scammy, spammy, conny, fraudy, like in the money department. At least God, I hope not. He can definitely hold his own in the money, and he knows you can too. He can definitely hold his own in the money, and he knows you can too. So there you go. It's confirmation. So yeah, I don't think he's looking to screw you over, like, financially. I don't think he's trying to get in your pants and get in your heart to take your money, is what I'm trying to say. Um, I heard he can definitely hold his own in the money, and so can you. So you both are equal, um, maybe not equal playing fields in the money, property, or assets, but you both Sounds like are independent as far as financial. Whether he makes more or you make more, it, to me, that shit don't matter when it comes to love. But some people make it like that. But of course, everybody has different view, viewpoints. I'm just saying. But you both can hold your own financially. And that's just the truth. It doesn't, I mean, I don't care who makes more than who. Um, I'm just saying. But you both get, sounds like you both are independent. You both pay your own bills. You both do your own thing. You both make your own money. You both can manifest money. Just saying, just saying. Regardless of socioeconomic status. Vote, money or property through an inheritance, winning or windfall. A stolen inheritance is about to be retrieved from any series of shame events, and someone's about to get their inheritance, not a stolen inheritance. For one, it's this masculine energy. For one, it's this feminine energy. Sorry. Okay, so you plug in how it resonates. So, okay, so we have two stolen, um, I'm sorry. We have two inheritances in here. One of them is not stolen, and one is. I heard this stolen inheritance is about to re re be about to be retrieved for many series of chain events, and whether that's you, fem energy that had the stolen inheritance from you, or the masculine, but somebody's stolen inheritance is about to be retrieved for many series of chain events. It could be one inheritance or two or two plus, and for one of you, you're about to receive your inheritance, but it wasn't ever stolen, so you, you're about to get it the right way. I think a will unveiling or will unlocking or Trust fund baby or however that resonates and applies. Some kind of property law energy I'm feeling here. You're about to get it. It sounds like it's the time you're about to get it and you're about to get it. Whether you're the mask or fem energy, there's one that's a stolen inheritance that's about to be retrieved from any series of chain of events. And there's one that's not a stolen inheritance that's about to be given to either the mask or fem energy. It sounds like the time is right to do it. And it sounds like the time is November of 2022 to do it. Wow. Feeling trust fund baby here energy for both of these people. But for one of them, somebody's family didn't want them to know or somebody else's family didn't want them to know they were a trust fund baby. And that's just the truth. This is about to benefit the masculine and feminine energy in a huge way. The retrieval of the stolen inheritance and the true inheritance coming to light. Manifesting out. 
Okay, I heard this is about to benefit the masculine fem energies in huge ways. The stolen inheritance about to be retrieved and the um, inheritance about to manifest out. So the one that was not stolen that sounds like it's time to be given to the owner, whether it's the masculine or fem owner in this situation, about to manifest out to the rightful owner, and then stolen inheritance about to be retrieved, which is going to cause increase in material wealth, um, whether it's money, property, assets, etc., 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 happening in November of 2022. And it hasn't happened yet, but we're in the beginning of the month. Goldfish, increase in material wealth or sp spiritual growth. Both of these people are very spiritual. They both have a lot in common. Both of these people are very spiritual and they both have a lot in common. So you, masculine and fem energy. Okay, so fem energy, masculine dude has a crush on you. He's a position of authority. Now, whether you're a position of authority or not, I don't know. Only you know your situation and story than anybody else. But he definitely is, whether you've met him before or you haven't. But um, he crushed it on you, baby. He crushed it on you. And that's just true. There's money involved here. Money, property, assets. I'm feeling trust fund baby energy. Um, one, they're not. nobody's trying to hide the fact they're a trust fund baby or they've got some kind of property inheritance assets coming to them. One, somebody was trying very hard to hide it. But it sounds like it's about to be retrieved. Uh, but both of these people, the masculine and feminine energy, are very spiritual. So increase in spiritual growth. I feel spiritual awakening energy here. Spiritual awakenings have already happened for both. And it's benefited both people in huge ways. Okay, I heard spiritual awakenings have already happened for both of you. So for both of you, fem energy and masculine energy, uh, spiritual awakenings have already happened for both of you. So increase the spiritual growth. Sounds like you've already had spiritual awakenings. For some, it could have happened in November, the beginning part of November. For some, it could have happened previous, like, previous year or years. I've had many spiritual awakenings in my path, spiritual path. And that's just the truth. I've had many. Um, and every single time they've benefited me. Um, everybody's life path's different, though. So... But for you, fem energy and masculine energy, both of you guys have had spiritual awakenings, at least one, already in the universe. And it's benefited you in a huge way. Our spiritual awakenings have already occurred for both of these people. So it's already occurred. So increase in spiritual growth for the spiritual awakening. Now, you can be religious, to spiritual, or just spiritual. I'm just spiritual. I'm not religious. I don't judge, but that's just the truth. So you can be spiritual or spiritual and religious. However that resonates and applies or anybody doesn't know. But definite increase in money here, too, for all these inheritances or trust fund baby energy or what have you, what have you, okay? Whether it's a stolen inheritance about to be retrieved or not a stolen inheritance. A significant donation is about to become very significant in, this, in one of these feminine energies' lives. A significant donation is about to become very significant in one of these feminine energies' lives. So if there's at least two of you feminine energies, one of you guys is about to get a very significant donation. It doesn't sound like it's happened yet. It sounds like it's upcoming. Um, you feminine, It might be from this masculine energy that has crushing on you, ma'am. Position of authority. Thinks you have pretty eyes. and I mean, I'm not talking about like Hannibal Lecter. Oh. You're so pretty, my dear. Let me put you in a little hole and, and trap you in a little and abuse the fuck out of you. No, not like that. Um, not like I want to peel your skin off and use it as a um, coat. Not like that. I think just admiring. Like you have pretty eyes and nice smile and uh, et cetera, et cetera. You look young for your age and all that. Not like I want to peel the flesh from your bones and wear it as a damn coat and entrap you in a minimal area and pluck your eyeballs out and wear them as a necklace or some shit. I'm just saying. Um, so yeah. This is really beautiful. I heard a significant donation is about to become very significant to you. One of you fem energies. At least two of you. You were single as a Pringle fem energy. His marital status is unknown. Um, I think you own a business fem energy. There's Or you have a cash app or a Venmo. Uh, not a Venmo. A cash app or a uh, PayPal or something like that to where he can send a donation. 
or somebody else is going to send a donation. I didn't hear he was going to send a donation. I just heard you're about to get a very significant donation. So it could be him about to send you to the donation or somebody else. But definite increase in money and possible and a lot of inheritances in here, whether it's stolen inheritance or um, about to be retrieved or a, a inheritance that's about to come to fruition and manifest out, okay? Brown hair, black hair, and Caucasian is very significant in here. Brown hair, black hair, and Caucasian is very significant in here. Brown hair, black hair, and Caucasian. So, I feel you, fem energy, or you, masculine energy, or possibly both, because I'm pulling you guys in here strong. So, you could be, I definitely think you guys are Caucasian. So, you're white. Um, Just saying, just saying. That's what I feel. At least for one of you. Or you have white in you. Um, I heard Caucasian, so I think you might be white. Fem energy, masculine energy, or both. And then brown hair and black hair. So, fem energy, you could have brown or black hair. Or masculine energy, you could have brown or black hair. Somebody's got brown or black hair. And somebody's definitely white. So, you plug it in how it resonates, okay? And somebody is tall in here. And somebody is tall. And somebody's tall. So you could be tall, fem energy, or the masculine energy could be tall, or you both could be tall. Um, I'm considered tall for my age. I meant not for my age. I'm considered tall for a female. I'm sorry. Because I'm like five, eight and a half. Because I'm considered I'm I'm considered tall for a fem. Um, you know, most fems are like five two, five one, five three, five four. I'm five eight and a half, so lengthwise. So I'm considered tall for a fem, but you could be tall, fem energy. He could be tall, or you both could be tall. But somebody's tall in here. Somebody's definitely white, and somebody has black hair or brown hair. So you plug it in how it resonates. This is cool. All right, I love you guys. Namaste.